Welcome back. This is tool number two in our conversation toolbox called Opine Only When Invited. The idea here is that everyone is not entitled to your opinion unless, of course, you want the consequences that are associated with inserting yourself into conversations uninvited. Things such as you'll get pushback and oftentimes you won't even know it because it's a communication blind spot. When you try to get others to agree with you, inserting your opinions unsolicited, you actually take away other people's agency. They don't really have then a choice. You also lose trust. The space is not safe. And inside any organization, any team, any family, any interpersonal conversation or relationship, trust is king. You also lose the respect of others because you don't have any for yourself. Because you feel that you have to insert yourself into that space, you then show a lack of personal boundaries. And therefore, not only do you lose it for yourself, but others lose it for you as well. The problem is our society, our environment, if you will, has conditioned us to insert our opinions into conversations. That's depicted in the idea of a Ted versus a Ting. Being a Ted means you're interested in other people. Being a Ting means you're trying to get other people to be interested in yourself, into, into you. The question is, what's the purpose of communication? Think about that just for a second as you formulate your idea. The idea is that communication is strictly based on understanding. You're trying to understand another person. It is never based on trying to get the other person to understand you because that means you're trying to get them to agree with you. There are four principles on which this is based that I'd like to share with you here right now. When you try to have others agree with your point of view, you are attached to being right. That is a socially acceptable behavior addiction. It's maladaptive. It's harmful. Anyone who's attached to being right can't see the forest for the trees. Because when you're trying to prove your point, you're not listening. Therefore, you're not communicating. You're inserting normally unsolicited your opinion into that space. If you want to have more friends, if you want people to listen to what you have to say, if you want to build a team, if you want to figure out why it is you never feel satisfied in any relationship, there is a very high probability it's because you're trying to be right. You're attached to it and you're constantly offering your opinions when not solicited. When you're not listening, you can't be present. Have you ever talked to someone who isn't looking at you but instead they're texting or they're emailing or they're looking at someone else or they're watching TV? How do you feel? Now, complicate that, magnify that when you're trying to be right. The person you're talking to feels helpless or frustrated and they no longer want to share the space that they have with you. And when you're not present, you cannot build trust. Without trust, there is no satisfaction in a relationship. Let me demonstrate this as to why. I've spent years working with addicts and overcoming codependence and other behavior addictions. And this is what I've discovered. It's a fallacy inside interpersonal relationships to accept intent over outcome. Your intent is to get them to understand how important what you are saying is, to keep themselves from harm or from making a mistake. That's what helicopter parents do. Helicopter parents and or people who seek the three A's never get satisfaction. There's never authentic happiness. Let me explain these briefly. Affirmation means that you're trying to get... You ever met someone who constantly needs to be affirmed that they're okay, that they're doing well? That's what affirmation means. You're giving affirmation to them or you're trying to get it back for yourself. Affect is simply the affection, the love, the touch, the, the compliment. And approval is that you're, you're okay. You're doing all right. You're the, one, you're the one doing the things that are good. When you seek for those three, you never get those three. You never get it. You call it love or people call it love. This is the perennial likeometer. You're trying to be liked. Happiness is a byproduct of trust and respect, not aff affection, affirmation, or approval. The three A's are the result of trust and respect. In your interpersonal relationships, if you focus only on respecting yourself and determining if you trust the other person, 
you're, the odds of you finding the three A's are very high. Malcolm Gladwell said, practice isn't the thing you do once you're good. It's the thing you do that makes you good. Here is your homework assignment using the constructs that we've talked about before. Hold five discussions without opining. If you are asked your opinion, it's okay to give it, but as quickly as you can, get them to start talking again by asking them questions. It isn't about being liked. It isn't about being affirmed, getting affection, or being approved of. It's all about trust and respect in your space. All right. Thanks for listening. Good luck. I'll see you in the next video.